Oops. A new apartment and a new video. We made it to Pula, what is here in Istria in Croatia. Right in front of me is the KTEC Pro Classic Boom Pole. And in this video, we talk about and ask the question, does a field recorder actually need a boom pole? You have to ask this question yourself, right? If you are a boom operator working on set, of course you need a boom pole, there's no question. But if you're a field recorder and you don't work on set somewhere, do you actually need a boom pole? And now that I have one, I struggle with that question. I see myself out there, where can I use it? Is it worth carrying it around with me in a backpack or in a suitcase? And the answer is yes and no. Let's start with the yes. Okay, I have this boom pole with me in my backpack and then I have these examples where I knew if I wouldn't have a boom pole at that point, I would have difficulties to get these sounds. Now here on the harbor sides, there are some very interesting boat sounds and water splash. Sometimes you have these chain ringle dingle dingle. And what I'm doing is I'm using this boom pole which has already the cable management within the boom. Now, all what I need to do is I use the cable that I have, what is a six foot XLR cable, five pin, plug this here into the end of the pole, and then I can use the whole length. If I would use this on my nano pole, for example, I'm still dependent on the cable length of the cable because there is no cable management. That means not only I might have the problem that the cable tingles and falls into the water or I have to wrap it around what takes way too much time and also creates noise if there is too much wind. You see in this example that's a great reason to have a boom pole. Another reason is you never know. One reason why it's always good to have a boom pole you never know if there may be cats in the tree. Of course it doesn't have to have cats in the tree but just realize how much wildlife is out there and you don't want to disturb it then a boom pole is great to stay away and they have them in way different length i have one of the smallest that i could get that i can also put in my backpack but also in the suitcase if i put it in the backpack yes it doesn't fit the same like the nano pole because the nano pole fits perfectly in the bag this one looks out because it is just a little bit longer. Another way I'm using a boom pole right now is recording my own footsteps. Walking around these beautiful streets here in these small towns in Croatia, it is just perfect to pick up these natural sounds with the foot. I know Foley artists and people that are working on set, they can use these Foley studios to recreate these sounds. I don't have a Foley studio, my studio is the world. Let's say it that way. And if I look at my downloads, people downloading frequently our footstep sounds that are recorded outside, so they don't might even care about the ambience around. But now having a boom pole, I can go really close. This is a stereo setup. I do have to say that, that this cable management is made for stereo. I really wanted to have a set where I can have the Audio Technica fixed on a boom, just in case. I need to record quick sounds because I can take it out very quick without having the Sinella set up on the nano pole. I don't know why I put my finger out there because in my head I know it is all the way over there in the corner. But it is great to have this just as a complete set, right? Zack, that's it. All what I need to do is plug in the cable here into my Zoom F6 and that's it. And then I can really fast extend this boom pole. Just look at this. You open this here, zack. And then you have already a nice length. But then you can also train a little bit, you know, you can do your biceps. But be careful if you use a boom pole that has these cables. Because what happened to me is this snaps back really quick. And one day I had this here and then I totally Pluck my finger. Now you can do the same action, but just.
Oh, yes. And you know, in Germany, we have a saying, Fingerschmerzen gehen zum Herzen. That means that finger pain goes to the heart. So it really hurts. So these are the, the positive benefits of having a boom pole. I might miss some, but I believe if you think I miss something more, uh, just leave me in the comment where you would love to use a boom pole or you already used a boom pole for. It's always great for me to know what you're using a boom pole for so that I have more ideas and can experience the world of boom operators. If you're wondering why do I have a boom pole and I'm honest with you, because of the boom operator group. Tino from KTEC, we connected about a year ago already when I was in Singapore and he sent me the KTEC bag for the Zoom F6 because he was so sad seeing me walking around with the F6 having no bag. But then when I joined the boom operator group on Facebook, what is clearly about boom operator, but you can post any cool memes, photos, anything that is related to boom operating. But then I posted these photos of me in Iceland and, and that's true, it looks unprofessional if you use nanopole as a boom pole. And then he just reached out to me and said, hey Marcel, you know what, I think it's time for you to use a boom pole. And I said, hey, yeah, sure. Send me something, what you have. And I, you know, I see how it goes. See if you can get him. Didn't really work out. <laughs> this is an expensive one. So it's not cheap, it's brand new. So you have to ask yourself, do you really want to pay $600 because you just want to record footsteps? Of course, that's that's probably something I would not do. I would maybe buy a cheaper version. There are several options on KTEC on the website, so you don't have to go with the premium. There are so many other options out there. What I realized is that I know that I would not use it as much as the Nanopole. And now that's how we can go to the no areas, why I would not use a boom pole. And the main reason is I'm recording ambience stereo ambience or let's say VR. I record sounds longer than just a couple of minutes. I record these sounds stationary. If you have a tripod, you would use a tripod. Or with the Nanopole, I'm super happy. You don't want to hold a boom pole for 10 minutes, three minutes, five minutes in, in one arm just to record an ambience because you get handling noise from the hand or you move around. So each time you move around, you change the stereo field, the sound field. And for somebody who's listening to these sounds can pick that up and that's not very pleasant. But I do have to say that a boom operator holds a boom pole hours on set. So I, I really appreciate the work that the people are doing because I tried it as long as I can and I could feel after five minutes just holding it like this. This is painful. Wow, that really goes into the arms and having a boom pole that is carbon light, I think you have a big advantage than having like a cheaper one made from aluminum. But you have to always check the length and the weight before you decide which one you want to buy. I'm not here to tell you that you have to have a boom pole or you don't have to have one. I'm just here to show you the equipment that we have and that we're using now or in the future. So big thank you to Tino from KTEC for sending me this. Yeah, it is an expensive piece of equipment, but it's also high quality. So if you follow us along the way on Instagram, Facebook, or you're part of the Boom Operator group, then you will probably see me way more often posting photos of the Boom Pole together with myself. So thank you so much for watching and we really hope to see you in our next video or if you want to, you can listen to our podcast that we started. So thank you so much. And you find all the links in the description down below.